I want to thank you for bringing food and ideas for us to all share. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to share a meal and to speak with you today. Thank you to the earth and the water and the sky for upholding us and sustaining us. Thank you to the ancestors who taught us how to live respectfully on our planet. This is an auspicious time for people to come together and affirm the vision of a world that they would want their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren to inherit. The original human beings had a wisdom that modern people often forget to remember. They forget that when they spend even one, they forget that when they spend even one cent on killing other human beings. They forget when they allow for-profit corporations to hijack the food supply for human beings. They forget when they allow health care to be privatized and turned into a for-profit service. They forget when they allow post-secondary education to become a means of enslaving entire generations to a lifetime of debt. They forget when they allow for-profit corporations to pollute the ponds, the lakes, the rivers, the seas, and the oceans. They forget when they allow killer robots to enrich the few while burning up children, women, and men who are just going about their lives in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Yemen, Somalia, Gaza, and Iraq. They forget when they allow war profiteers to drain our national treasury. The original human beings were guided by the wisdom of grandmothers. In many tribes, women collectively pooled their wisdom and chose the elder women to guide the process of choosing the leaders. These grandmothers had the power to appoint a chief and the power to remove a chief. I recently learned that in the Wampanoag language, the word for woman means she who has the final say. <laughs> Those of you that are married probably made it up in surprise you. That's where one poll got that. <laughs> where did modern humans step off the path of life and into a path of pursuing death for profits? Arguably, at least on this continent, that misstep occurred in 1492. Lost the house, went on the stairs. Things continue to decline. Now the bus picks up again. By the motel sign. Bring our war dollars home. Bring our war dollars home. They're in the hands of the wolves. Bring our war dollars home. Bring our war dollars home. Endless wars, trillions spent. Countless lives left alone. It's long past time to voice dissent. And bring our war dollars home. Bring our war dollars home. Bring our war dollars home. First, I want to say that we have to thank uh, Peggy Akers from Veterans for Peace, the newly elected uh, uh, president of Maine Veterans for Peace, for <coughs> donating the van to us. Yeah. Dan was my partner as we went to UMF, uh, USM, and UMO. Uh, Ian joined us for UMO, where we and Mark was with us at UMF, uh, we went and leafleted students on the campuses. Uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of students we handed flyers to, a flyer that we specifically made to hand out on campuses uh, with a great quote from our friend uh, who goes to UMF, uh, Nicole Moreau, who was over in Italy swimming in the Mediterranean. <laughs> Thank you.